Okay, fellow YouTubers, Schumanator here from Schumanator's Garage. Uh, I'm going to show you a video about Xenon HID light bulb replacement on a 2014 Camaro RS2LT. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot of real clear videos, and there seems to be a lot of questions out there, so I'm going to see if I can help everybody out. Uh, this is the lovely Mrs. Schumanator's 2014 Camaro. It's been in service since probably October 2013, and it's got about 30,000 miles. And the HID bulb went out, and um, so it needs to be replaced. It went pink, and then it went out altogether. Now, one thing I'm going to show you right now, this is useless. They do not recommend that you do this by yourself. Ridiculous. Okay, I may be ASE certified, but this is easy that anybody can do it. So basically, you don't have to take the bumper off. I'm going to hand the phone to my trusty assistant here. And you can get in here. So one of the big questions is, do you have to take the bumper off? No, you do not. You pull this cap off by twisting it counterclockwise. And there is the bulb and the uh, igniter. It's all one assembly. So there is. I'm going to try to get you in there. Um, a lot of people say there's a black ring, whatever. This one's got a white ring on it. You can see the white plastic ring up in front of that square silver box. That just gets a turn to the left, counterclockwise, in other words. That's good with the camera right there. And then the bulb pretty much will just pop out. Um, you may have to pull on it. I did have this one out already once to, to look at it uh, to verify I ordered the correct bulb. Um, but it was locked in there. So the first time I had to give a little bit of a tug. So there's the HID bulb. Uh, it's definitely burnt. Okay, so this is um, this is high voltage danger situation, but I think as long as you don't touch the actual contacts for the wires and things, you should be okay. Uh, don't quote me on that. Do it at your own risk. Uh, so the other thing is, is this wire has to come off. Um, one thing I'm going to tell you, before you pull your bulb out, be sure you know which direction it's facing. In this case, the wire is facing straight down. So, because it won't go in any other way. I found that out when I messed with it the first time. So, if you do uh, forget, just do one side of the car at a time if you do need to replace them both, or you can look at the other one. So, these wires, you can see I just popped that right off. I don't know if the camera's good there. So, again, this was in here. Now, the first time I had to do it, see that just comes off. First time I had to do it, I actually had to use a very small... Uh, or actually a normal size screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and I had to do a little bit of prying. There's also a spring. Um, I don't know if I can make that work for you. There's a spring. There it goes. So you can you can push on this. It's kind of like a release. And then you just pry with the screwdriver right along the edge. You work your way around very carefully. And just kind of twist it and it'll pop off um, in this case since it was done once already I guess it comes off a lot easier so let's move to the bulb choice now I went and ordered these online uh, on Amazon so we're gonna see how they work uh, the auto parts store was $150 for one bulb um, so I went online and looked, and I found these uh, Amazon 30 bucks for the pair. We're going to see how they work. Um, so I will post later on in the video, uh, you know, after some time, see how, how long they work. But I figure for, uh, for 30 bucks for a pair of them, um, however long they last, you know, if as long as they last a little bit of long time, you know, a little bit of time, it's going to be worth it. So we'll see. I plan on replacing them both, even though only one blue. Uh, the, the other thing is you can get these in multiple color ratings. And it's also really hard to find out the information as to what the factory color rating is. Uh, the research I did shows it to be around 4300K 
would be factory. Um, the higher up the K level you go, the bluer the lights get, but they say they actually might emit less light. Um, I'm not the expert on that. Make your own choice. I went with 5000 K, which is supposed to be a, a pure white. So we'll see how that goes. Um, one thing you'll notice is new bulbs do not come with this plastic retainer. So that's something you are going to have to swap over. And I'm going to see if I can't show you how to do that. Uh, that's not something that I've done yet. So I'm going to pause it for now and we'll come back. Go. All right, so this is proven to be a, a little bit of a pain in the butt. I do know when I had this out the first time and I was trying to put it back in, the ring almost came off by itself, but now it doesn't seem like it wants to come out. So they tell you you're supposed to push it to one side. There it goes. So, all right, so I pushed it to one side. I don't know if you saw that. I'm not going to do it again. And uh, slide it off. So what I want to be sure is I pay attention to how it was. So hopefully it goes back on the new bulb. We're all doing this for the first time together. Do not touch the bulb. You probably all know that already. Oh, look at that. So there it is. All right, so I'm going to hook up the new wire and put it back in, and we're going to see how it works. I'll probably go ahead and test this side so I can do a comparison uh, with the old one. So one thing I'm going to say is make sure that you turn show it turn this counterclockwise all the way so that when you put it back in um, it'll be in the right position. So see if we can do this. So that just clicked right back on. That's good to go. Now you want to pay attention to put this straight in the hole. You don't want to bend that metal tab or metal, um, whatever that thing is that sticks off the bulb. Wrong. Wrong, thank you. There it goes, so it goes in. I'm putting it straight in and I'm just going to push it straight in. Now comes the fun part. It took me a while when I played around with the first bulb to get this to get it back in. But I wanted to test it with the first bulb so I didn't damage the new bulb. So especially if you're gonna go ahead and opt for the more expensive bulb, uh, you might want to try it with the old one take the old one out put the old one back in before you do it because you definitely don't want to damage a $150 bulb so there it is I was able to just support it with two fingers on my right hand and with two fingers on my left hand I went in and, and just twisted the lock and now I'm just checking to make sure it seems like it's in there good so I think we're good can you see it so there, there's the new bulb installed. We're going to go ahead and start it up and check it prior to uh, installing the other bulb. So I'm going to have my assistant point the camera at the front end of the car while we test the lights. You might need the key. Thanks. You might not, though. No. You have to turn the lights on. That, so there you that, have it. That one's got a blue tint. So the factory one on the passenger side looks a little bit a little bit bluer than the one on the driver's side. Yeah. So it could be because it's getting older or it could just be different. So that's why it's a good idea unless maybe you're gonna get the factory one to maybe 
replace them in a pair. So I am going to go ahead and replace the other one. All right, so as my assistant pointed out, maybe we weren't perfectly clear, but this is the V6 vehicle, not the uh, the SS with the, the V8. So I don't know if the clearances are going to be the same, but I did not remove the air box or anything. And so now that that's tested, I'll go ahead and cover it up. Just by putting that back on, turn it till it gets to the right location. And then it just takes like a quarter turn and it's good. So I am going to go ahead to do the passenger side. So just pan over there real quick. I'm not going to show you the whole installation process again. I just want to show you the access. So you can see this looks like the fuse box. And there is the passenger side. You can just reach right through this harness with your left hand. that off and then there it is so what I can do since this one has has not been pulled out yet I'll take this one off while we're watching just so we can see if it's any harder there that was just one click to the left with that white ring and the bulbs already loose so I do have to give it a, just a little wiggle to clear it now I'm going to be careful with this bulb because it still works. So I'm going to keep it. Don't touch anything with it. And that metal tab right there, that, this metal uh, part of the bulb, that is very delicate. Rod. So this one's tough, this one hasn't been removed before. So this is a good example. Push this in. Pop it with the screwdriver. And take the wire out. So I know that should be helpful to a lot of people. I saw a lot of questions online in my research before I did this as to how to get that wire off. So there you go, don't be afraid, uh, you know, you shouldn't break it as long as you're smart about it. So I'm going to go ahead and change this one out real quick. And then we'll pop back in and I'll show you them both working and that should be it. All right, I did decide to pop back in and show you this one more time because I think I figured it out. So you want this in the, what would be the locked position if it were in the car. And you're just cup it in your hand like this and just kind of push it back like that and then you can take it straight off so there you go okay so real quick passenger side one went in pretty pretty good I did it all with my left hand I just pushed and held straight I used all four fingers here well, and a thumb I guess and pushed it straight in until I felt it was solid just held it with two and then used my thumb and this finger put the thumb on the top of the ballast or, or igniter and then put my index finger on the round I know you can't see it but on the, the lever for the round locking nut and just spun it until it only goes about a quarter turn it's it's not too bad and then check it it's good and tight and put the cover back on and as long as this one works we're done so let's find out. So hit it. You didn't turn them on. Comedy hour here at Shoot's Garage. So it's easier to put them in than it is to figure out how to turn the switch, turn them on. But there they are. Um, I wasn't watching, so I don't know if there was a uh, if they powered up like like slowly or not. But uh, there they are. They both look the same, at least in the daylight. So we'll figure out how good they are at night um, and how long they last. So 
They're thirty dollars for the pair on Amazon, so you know I'm sure you can get them online wherever. Uh, but we'll see how well they do, and I will post it later down the road. Uh, I'll put an update in the common area or something, common area or something like that. Uh, the spare still working. We'll see how long they actually last. But thanks for watching. I hope this really helps you out. Take care.